In the last episode of my Perth trip, I'll bring you to the Rottnest Island to see the beautiful scenery of the beaches surrounding the island. Also, the quokka. It's become the mascot of the island because of Federer's selfie with it last year. So don't miss it. To go to the Rottnest Island, you need to take the Rottnest Express, a ferry operated by the company. About one and a half hour, and you'll arrive at this beautiful island. Do make sure to book well in advance, especially during the peak season, because there's only one direct trip to the Rottnest Island in a day, or else you'll have to settle for the indirect ones. Well, it's not that difficult to find a quokka on the island because after all, they're everywhere. And it's actually a kind of kangaroo. It's cute and it's not afraid of humans, but I failed to take a selfie because it's so small. Look at it. All right, someone took a picture from me, but I don't consider that to be a selfie, do you? Once you've arrived, you can go to the information center to buy a bus ticket where you can hop on and hop off at any time to see the beautiful beaches all over the island. Do remember, some of the beaches on the island are actually quite popular, like this one, the Little Salmon Bay. And if you really want to take beautiful sceneries without someone photobombing your pictures, it's advisable that you do some research beforehand. There's no need for you to worry about there may not be any good place to eat. Just look at how beautiful this lunch is. And also, go to the Symbols ice cream store to taste the latest and most unique tastes. And also this Rottnest Bakery. Just look at how divine these cakes look like. It reminds me of the St Kilda in Melbourne. Oh hi Mr Coca, we've met again. But, hello? Hello? Can you see me? There are many historical architecture on this island as well, like this one, the Holy Trinity Church. One last reminder, be prepared to get seasick or vomit if you eat too much on the island, because just look at how rough is the sea. Well, you may ask me why Federer was in Perth, and let me tell you, he is in Perth for the Hotman Cup, and this year, he has successfully defended his title, so let's see.
Well, thanks for watching all three episodes. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.